My booking prediction is that John Moxley is going to beat Brian Danielson and end his full-time career, go on a heel tear, only to lose the title ultimately to Darby Allen. Mm. I think Darby's going to beat John Moxley. Darby, I believe, will get his in the end. Tell them that they're paid by a con. I'm not a big fan of this move. I think uh, Brian took it one time called the choke breaker. Why? Mm. I was hit with a choke breaker from Nick Gage. Okay. Not to expose the business. I didn't feel a thing. Okay. It looked Good. like I was killed. Yes. In fact, in fact, I went through the curtain and MJF was on that show. And he goes, you're a crazy motherfucker. That's what he said to me after I took hmm. the choke breaker. This feud. This is dumb. MXM versus The Acclaimed. Not my cup of tea. Then they go like this yeah. and the gimmick is just the tip. They touch yeah. tips. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of penile references. Docking. <laughs> I wonder if, I wonder you, if Vince has been watching Rampage just to see his, his baby in action. The new best team I ever saw in my entire life, Roderick Strong and the Beast Mortos versus Joe Keys and Marcus Mathers. I watched this whole thing twice. Wanted to watch it more. You mentioned there was 18 minutes left in the show. They should have aired this match nine times in a row. This is fucking awesome. I'm going to keep this forever. If I'm ever having a bad day, I'm going to watch this again. Squash of the year. Dustin Rhodes and Sammy Guevara versus The Kingdom in a bunkhouse match, which came out of like one promo where The Kingdom has said, we want the Ring of Honor tag titles. And Dustin said, fuck you, let's do a bunkhouse match. Like as far as bunkhouse matches go, I thought this match was great. Mm -hmm. This was great. Mariah blows Nigel McGuinness a kiss and nearly knocked him out of Grand Slam. At this point, both he and Danielson are both questionable. He was like that meme for Vince. Oh, the, uh, at the table? Yeah, with, with Stacey. He's taken away. Kimler. Arguably the most overact again in this match was the Outrunners. Yes. Run with it. Outrun with it. Let him get over. Push him. And if something happens and all of a sudden the fans think it's stupid, then you don't got to push him anymore because it's fake. You just beat him and you're done with it. Are we going to announce that Brian Danielson's going to wrestle a Grand Slam? And they say Nigel is going to have some, he's going to have a, he's going to have words at the end of this show. I'm like, all right, well, they'll do it then, right? He went forever. Yeah. And he's talking. And he's talking. The go home show ends the announcement. Nigel McGuinness will wrestle Brian Danielson if <laughs> Brian Danielson is cleared to wrestle. Yes. What a strange period we were in here for all elite wrestling. No granny. Granny is not on the show today. Well, what happened today is this, everybody. Yes, granny had a heart attack. And uh, she gave me permission to talk about it on the show. I walked in and I said, like, how are you? And she said, she said, I'm fine. They cleaned out my pipes. I'm good to go. Mm -hmm. I said, what? <laughs> That's what she explained. So uh, I guess the miracles of medicine in 2025. This guy comes in and uh, Grady goes, so my grandson, Brian. I was like, hi, how you doing? She goes, he's a really important, famous guy. Oh, my gosh. He's got a world famous. She just, I'm turning red. I'm trying to hide. And then, of course, it shifts to, I'm on his show every week. I see. You know how many Facebook fans? I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> She's having the time of her life. The time of her life. Get well wishes for Granny. Get well, Granny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's just read some of these. 39 to go. Get well. Get well soon. We want you to get well. Musical notes. At least we didn't do a... I'm not seeing that one. I don't limerick know. contest for this one. <laughs> I could do a granny heart attack limericks. No. I wonder no, if she'd approve stop. that last next week. Even I must draw the line somewhere. Hearing your grandmother every week and getting to speak with her is uh, kind of a highlight to me because uh, she's not just your grandmother, Brian, but um, I kind of feel like she's mine too. Well... And, uh, I, I appreciate you sharing her with us. Well, I appreciate that. This show is terrible. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't say it enough. It's all Gorilla and Bobby. And, yes. and most of the show is not them. It's like, it's like Gorilla and Bobby make this show absolutely awesome, and everybody else makes this show absolutely terrible. The matches are atrocious. Hey, you know, I'm delighted to be joined by Granny, who is alive! Congratulations, Granny. How you doing? Probably a miracle. It actually oh, was a miracle. Honestly. I want to thank everybody for all the well wishes and the card and all that stuff. It's, you got the card? It's so nice. The great Fowler helped arrange that card who got his yeah. name from you reading off names of The Undertaker many years ago. 
Yeah, that was nice. And the other thing is uh, Granny's Life Alert. When you went to use it, it was critically low. Oh, great. The battery was yeah, nearly it's dead. Sad. Yeah, it was. So, like, if you. <laughs> the more I hear about this story, Granny, the more it's like, oh my God. Well, glad you're feeling great, Granny. We just wanted to say hi, give you a chance to give a message to everybody, and. Thank you, thank you, everybody. I love all of you. All right. Well, we love you. It's good to see you. Bye bye. Our opener is, in fact, Nigel McGuinness versus Brian Danielson. If Brian Danielson has been cleared to compete, the storyline now is officially in canon. Darby Allen is an idiot. Yeah, this idiot gave up his shot because a heel told him that Brian wouldn't be able to wrestle on the show. Yeah. And he believed him. A very, very good wrestling match. I, I can't call it like a like a really great match or anything like that. No. Nigel McGuinness, I mean, this is his first singles match in like 15 years. And then Christian's music hit. It's going to cash in. But he opens it to sign the contract, and Kip Sabian tiptoes up behind him, steals the ballpoint pen out of his hand, and runs away. Can they get over Kip Sabian? Because right now, I don't get it. It's not over. I don't know why this is continuing. I don't know what the point is. It's just baffling to me. The FTW Championship is officially retired, and he walks over to his father he gives him his belt back. Big Tough Taz is trying so hard not to cry. This was awesome. Speaking of awesome, Young Bucks versus Will Ospreay and Kyle Fletcher. Holy crap. It's one of the best tag matches ever on Dynamite. Yep. And like you look at it going in and it's like, it's the Young Bucks versus Will Ospreay and Kyle Fletcher. And you imagine like how awesome it will be. And then you watch it. And it's more awesome. Shivani brings out Prince Nana, but the mystery voice interrupts, and MVP makes his AEW debut. This segment died. Really? This segment and the Mariah May Yuka Sakazaki match, for some reason, big fall. And then it grew again for the last part of the show. John Moxley versus that in canon idiot, Darby Allen. He got killed here. My booking prediction is that John Moxley is going to beat Brian Danielson and end his full-time career, go on a heel tear, only to lose the title ultimately to Darby Allen. Mm. I think Darby's going to beat John Moxley. Darby, I believe, will get his in the end. Afterwards, mm. the man who is too hurt to wrestle, <laughs> thus necessitating Darby facing someone else for the championship match, Came out and beat the shit out of John Moxley. NXT was the final show on the USA Network. Right. They're moving in CW. Kalani only did one gymnastics move. Mm. They just tried to have a wrestling match. And I found it much, much easier to watch as, as two, you know, green wrestlers trying to figure out how to have a wrestling match than it's what I've seen in the past. So I'm not going to complain about this at all. It's what I've been asking for. Trick meets with CM Punk. Punk? Promises he will make sure, quote, the best man to lead to the CW future, unquote, wins the match. Hank is trying so goddamn hard. He's pumping his fists. He's going, yeah, come on, woo! He's giving it his all. <laughs> it's A-plus for effort. Zach Wentz and Wesley sit down side-by-side side interview, but in, in different rooms. It was the best thing on the show, talking-wise. This felt like two dudes who were having a real fight. Everything they said sounded real. The actual fight looked real. This felt authentic and awesome. Carmen Petrovich and Brindley Reese versus Wendy Chu and Rosemary. This match absolutely sucked. They of course they pinned Javon Evans. Booked Javon Evans facing Randy Orton in Randy Orton's hometown in a road show in St. Louis early in the CW run. Probably going to be the main event. Why did you pin Javon here? Because he's only 20. He'll be fine. You know how many times I've had to hear that fucking line? God! You know what would be awesome? If he was fine right now. Yes. So we have the main event Julia Roxanne press conference. Oh my God. Julia begins to speak in Japanese. And she starts talking. And she's talking. And she's talking. So now it is time for Funaki to translate. So he begins translating. But apparently there was grave concern that people might not understand the translator as well. So now 
and what a fucking rib on me. Now they put fucking graphics on the screen. There were more graphics in this fucking segment than there were on all of NXT up to this point this year. And then we're interrupted by someone speaking yet another language, this time Spanish. Stephanie McCure appears on the big screen, and she says Stephanie will be waiting on the other side of this match. That's how the show ended. A press conference. Yeah. A fucking press conference that led to nothing mm -hmm. except someone showing up and saying that they wanted the winner. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a brawl. No. There wasn't even great promos back and forth. No. This was the end of NXT on the USA it Network. It was. Could you have had a more nothing happening ending to a show?